and Mark here. I kind of glanced over when I did a video of my music room of the different equipment that I use to listen to my music. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you uh, mostly vintage um, the audio equipment that I have set up that I listen to my music. So let me flip this around and show you. So this is the turntable I use. This I actually bought new. This is my uh, Fluence RT85. And so that's got the belt drive with the acrylic platter and the um, Ortofone blue cartridge. And then over here are the speakers. Oh, there's just a cheap Westinghouse TV. Um, these are uh, Polk Audio Monitor, I believe 30s. And then moving down to the receiver. So this is a Sony integrated amplifier that I use. So I, I did have an AV system in here, a Denon, uh, more newer a newer one not more newer and i just like the way this one sounds better so it, it does have a video section but i'm sure that's analog you can plug anything you want in there you got tape cd tuner phono and then you've got the different um buttons there now the fluence is completely manual so after you turn the thing on you have to flip this up bring it over, drop it, and you can see the platter starts to turn. Let me turn it off before I shut that, the dust cover. And then over here is a uh, Polk Audio center channel speaker, and then this is my cassette deck, which is a Luxman K111. And so I picked that up. It sounds German, but it's actually a Japanese company. Picked that up at a thrift store, I think, for like $30. So that was kind of expensive, but it's a really nice cassette deck. And then down here is my vintage uh, Fisher Studio Standard. Standard. Um, it's just kind of a cheapo, but I like the old single disc um, CD players. So... That is, like I said, it was going to be a short video. Oh, and I do have a couple more uh, Paradigm, Paradigm, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, speakers. I got one over there next to Betty Boop, and then I got one over there in the hind legs of the um, AT-AT. Yeah. Anyway, that is my setup in the living room. Now I'm going to take you to what I told you was the family room, which they call a dining room in the apartment, but it's actually, I turned it in, well, it doesn't matter what it's called. I'll take you in there. Okay, so now I'm in here. Kitchen is here, so when I'm um, in the kitchen working, I have this set up. This is my Pioneer SX727, and... So that's a nice vintage thing I picked up for 56 bucks at a thrift store maybe about 15 years ago. So I just, I love the way that it just, try to hold this steady, just kind of lights up like that. And then you can switch it to, right now it's on phono because I usually listen to records. But then once you switch it to, um, the, the stereo, the radio, then of course you get the different tuning and signal strength things there. And I like to keep it here. And then up here is another thrift store find. This is my Pioneer PL255 fully manual or fully automatic turntable. I paid $30 for this at a thrift store. This replaced my uh, Yamaha P550, which was on the Fritz. And this is fully automatic. They had like five or six different Pioneers. They were all missing the cartridges, so I had to buy that. And they, I picked the one that was fully automatic. They had a fully manual, they had a semi-automatic, and they had a fully automatic. There was only one of these, so I got this one. And they just push start. And it'll go up, and I'm going to... Stop it before it goes down onto the platter, because it will. 
there's no sensor. Well, okay, had to do it that way. Um, but it still wants to spin, so let me turn that off. And then the adjustments here for uh, 12 inch, 10 inch, 7 inch. And then over here is the speed control. And then here's the button for 33 or 45. I'll keep it at 33 because I don't listen to many 45s. And then you got the anti-skate and tone arm. And yeah, I just bought this uh, Audio-Technica Green. I think that was about $100 on Amazon, that, um, that cartridge. I didn't want to go cheap, cheap, but at the same time, I didn't want to go full out you know, expensive because this isn't exactly the top of the line turntable that uh, is worth putting a you know five hundred dollar uh, stylus or cartridge on. So anyway, that's my music room and my family slash right outside of the kitchen room uh, setup. And bedroom is going to take a little bit longer and. So I'm not going to do that in this one, and the same thing for the living room is also, uh, I think, going to take a while because I've got a lot of stuff in there. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, and I don't think you would have learned anything from it, but eh, it's always fun to watch other people's equipment, at least I think so. Thanks. Bye.